He arrived at the Kenya National Theatre shortly after 5 p.m. this evening. At hand to receive him were Cabinet Secretary for Culture, Sports and Arts, Hassan Wario, and his ICT counterpart, Fred Matiangi. After exchanging presentaries with dignitaries present, President Uhuru proceeded to officially open the refurbished Kenya National Theatre two years after it was closed down for innovation. He took the platform to Director Matiangi, who is the Acting Lands Cabinet Secretary and Lands Commission Chairperson Mohamed Sozuri, to avail the title for the land adjacent to the theatre within two weeks, alluding that they had been grabbed. This piece of land we have agreed with Matiangi and, and Swazuri. This land had been grabbed, so the Chairman of the National Land Commission and the Minister of Lands have promised me that within the next two weeks, you will get your title deed back. Uhuru said the concept for putting up a 5,000 capacity arts and culture center is ready, adding that it will open up opportunities for the youth. The center will come complete with a dome capable of seating 5,000 people for hosting large performances. It is my promise that the era of repression, paranoid censorship, and the stifling of expression is indeed gone forever. Wario said the renovation funded by East Africa Breweries cost a whooping 150 million shillings and is one of the flagship Kenya at 50 projects. They took it up and what you will see today is as a result of later, one, more than one and a half years later, 150 million shillings pumped into the National Theatre. Renowned authors Ngugi Wathiongo and Michele Mugo, who are among the invited guests, thanked the president for the project, saying it should now be a hub of cultural festivals from all communities in the country. Welcoming us home as people who were once exiled and labored dissidents for daring to fight for democracy, including the democratization of cultural spaces. The National Theatre should be the center for the cross currents of cultural streams from all the communities, from all parts of Kenya, while also sending energy to those streams, whatever and wherever their origins in Kenya. The president will later enjoy a play at the new theater before retiring to the bar above for a drink.